All right, today, guys, we are featuring a KSP a wheel spacer for my 2013 WRX. I've never had a wheel spacer before, and I actually found these on eBay. I think they're also sold on Amazon. Um, these are a for a 5x100 fitment. Uh, it came in this is for about... 90 bucks uh you get two sets of two in a box and these say they're forged aluminum it shows right here all the description right there seems pretty nice it's got a 10 by 9 bolt pressed in bolt uh, so I, I believe that's a pretty strong metal from what I've read online and go oh, get outside here and start putting them on I'm just a little worried about the stud links and all that I don't really want to have to grind stuff down because I don't really know if I have the equipment for that today so we'll see what happens as far as uh having to make adjustments hopefully there's not not any all right so and just if you're confused from what i think you do not use these on the outside of your car these will once you put this onto your hub center you're gonna have to move these bolts over to because i was confused about that too if you don't know anything about wheel spacers that you need to move that over to this side so that they go down in there. Yeah. Into these holes. And then you use your stock lug nuts on these after they're sticking through your wheels. Okay. All right, welcome back YouTube. I am doing the hub centric wheel spacers. Put it on like that. Um, these nuts move over to these as far as I'm, I'm concerned uh, with the rounded part inwards to fit in there better, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. I'm gonna run it like that until otherwise felt different. Uh, these are KSP Motorsport 5x100 wheel spacers, 5 lug for a 2013 WRX. I believe it's forged aluminum and it's got the 10.9 uh, grade studs. Okay, KSP Motorsports, shout out to them on this one. Hopefully, uh, turns out like I want it to. And just an honest review on this product. It's all on Amazon and eBay. Let's see. Oh, before, let's see how it looked before. Okay. It's way too flush. Or not enough flush for me. I don't like it tucked in the fender like that. I want it to come out a little bit more uh, for a wider track. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay. So I'll get back to you guys when I get it fitted on there. And I want to do a little brake part cleaner in this section to make sure it sits flush and there's no rust and stuff like that. You're going to transfer to your new products I just use the Walmart brake parts cleaner it's really cheap
Nothing off white. So we're going to do this side first. No, I don't want to do this side first. Y'all want to sit here and watch me torque it down? It's gonna be a little bit. Alright. Gotta see what we're doing here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pause while I get it uh, situated, okay? Alright, so on this section you're going to need a torque wrench, a click type, digital, whatever, but it needs to be accurate. Let's see, it's stuck now. Alright, but I got this at Sears, it was an on sale, whatever, clearance deal because you know a lot of them are going out of business. So I got a really good deal on this Craftsman digital, it's a digital read but a click style. Um, torque wrench and you want to put it to about 75 to 80 foot pounds it's kind of a debatable thing from what I've read online but you really need to make sure you do a star um, star pattern on your torque and you're torquing on these nuts it's very important on your torque pattern or else uh, it might not go sit well all right so I'm gonna show you what it's like on one of these things Should hear a click. Stop. Oh yeah, you need to hold it with, uh, you're gonna need to do that because you don't have tire to keep you, um, to keep it from spinning since it's off. So you're gonna have to stick a flathead or a, or a wrench or a um, screwdriver, I'm sorry, uh, to stop it from spinning. And that's about it. I'll get back to you when I get it done. All right, it's the new fitment, it's the wheel spacer. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. You can actually see some tire. There's this tucked in. That's in the air though, so we'll see when you actually drop it. Battery's about to die, so I'm not gonna show much. Basically, what to do here? Get this right here. I'm gonna be putting them on like that. I'm go get another battery though. Hub centric. Don't want it to wiggle. I'm gonna transfer these over to here. to real time head uh, wheel spacer install on the rear I already got the front two done Let's get it. you're gonna need these and these let me put this switch on right here right. see that wiggle you gotta be careful how you center these. Okay.
Real time, real time. Let's go, baby, let's go. What they say, time to shine. Wheel spacer install 2013 WRX. Probably applies to 2008 through 2014 because they changed the wheel pattern or whatever the size. It's not a, not a it was a five by 100, then they changed it. I don't know all the details. I forgot. But, anyways, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I think you put the round in face in because that would help seat in the hole, and that's what I did on the front ones. And it seemed to work, so I'm just gonna go with that. Hopefully, that's what you're supposed to do. They didn't really give you good instructions, but uh, it's a great product. KSP Motorsports, um, eBay, Amazon, they have a lot of wheel spacers, I think, for a lot of other. Uh, makes and models Tacomas probably Z's uh, I don't know Nissan Toyota they got a bunch of other things so check them out but they happen to have Subaru and I picked up a pair of four for I think under $100 so it's a pretty good deal it's hard to find online actually exactly what I wanted and these are the only the only brand I would tr really trust on there to be honest I'm probably just gonna do this one side uh, in real time and then we'll be done with that because I don't think you want to watch the whole both sides it takes a little bit longer than I thought let's see one didn't go on very even yeah make sure they go on even make sure the hub is you know nice nice and centered I'll show you the torque wrench let's move on to that foot pounds oh, I don't need that yet that's the key for your these bolts are you're gonna need that the key if you have one wait so you hear the click okay. click done Oh yeah, I jacked it up on the back differential. I don't know if you can see that in there, but because I'm wearing a head cam. <laughs> Got that on Amazon too. GoPro 8. Trying it out. Black. But yeah, I jack it up on the center diff. Rear diff and then, uh, not center diff, the rear diff. And then you can put the supports there. And then a third one. You always want a lot of safety. check again yeah I like this product it's nice oh yeah Go straight all right 
Uh, how did I do that without it spinning? I guess the rear is different. The rear is locked. The parking brakes on. I don't know. Uh, well, anyways, last time I put a screwdriver through the park for, through the brake. Let me see if the other one spins. That's interesting. I guess it won't spin probably because of the parking brake. We on the front, so you have to use the. Uh, you gotta use a wrench. I mean, a screwdriver or something to stick it through here to jam that so it doesn't spin. Go ahead and finish up the video. Uh, I don't know if I rotated my rear. Did I? I don't think I did. So I'm gonna rotate my tire. While I'm here. You might as well do it too. Make sure it's flush before you start threading. See that gap? You don't want that. <clears throat> the gap. And it's probably gonna wiggle to one side, so I like to push it. You can press yourself up against it. Or you can do something like that. If you want. Then, <sighs> I usually start a few by hand. Press against it, let me see if I can see. Yeah. Yeah, that's flush. You see in there? You want flush. You don't want anything else. You can have serious problems. Take your time, don't rush through it because uh, you don't want a wheel falling off. You know what I mean? Oh, that feels good. I like this brand because it seems like their fitment is pretty good as far as vehicle specific. They actually, not some bull crap universal stuff that doesn't fit. You know what I mean? Alright YouTube, I'll get back to you maybe on a final drive or final show, but for right now I gotta finish this up, it's a little hard to show to do all this, so I'll be back at you, Tinker and Tom, I'll let you, peace. Alright, just walking my dog after I did the install, ooh, the camber's a little, a little camber going on. We'll tow in, I think. No, no, I just got the wheel turned. It's actually not too bad. You see what we got now? We actually got some tire, some grub that shows. This side used to be tucked in real bad. I like that a lot more. It's a little pop. Ooh. These are snow tires anyway, they're Blizzaks, they might be a little, uh, a little wider than usual.